Uh, we are working on the back wheel. As you can see, we've done some sloppy lettering on it. <laughs> we'll clean it up later. I wanted to see what uh, what a yellow lettering on this bike would look like. But uh, other than that, we're, we got uh, a new used axle off of eBay because the, the, other the other one, the, the threads were stripped. These, these threads are junk. So we got a new used axle. We cleaned the rim. Uh, we put in new, uh, the bearings are really nice in there, but we put new seals in. We saved the bearings that we've got. And we're going to hook up the back wheel properly with the, the rear brake mount. Uh, the front wheel is done. It's in there. The forks are done. Handlebars are that done. Shock boots are done. Front wheel. Uh, it's got new bearings in it. Uh, we've cleaned the rotors. And yeah, it's it's well on its way. What do you think, Faison? That's, that's gonna yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty fast bike, I think. Yeah, we're pretty excited. I think uh, the good thing is we're going to run into a delay here um, pretty shortly because we've had to order a sleeve that's being custom made for this uh, year. And again, I'll say it again, we need to go over some of the information on the 89 and 90 models. There's some goofy stuff with these two years. Um, and if you've ever noticed... If you've ever tried to order parts for RM80s, you'll see tons of parts from 1991 to 2001, uh, but not much for 89 and 90. Uh, that's because there's some goofy stuff going on. And also, you'll notice that when you look at Suzuki parts catalogs, there's a lot of stuff that stays the same according to the parts diagram uh the cases and the rod and the crank and the cylinder and the, the all of that the head everything seems to stay the same but yet you cannot find parts like wiseco uh has pistons for days for 1991 and 2001 but you can't find anything for 1989 and 90 and like I said, I've researched YouTube and stuff. There's just not a lot of information on that. So I, I wanted to put that out there for people. Um, it's useful information. I hope people can use it. So uh, with that, we do got a time lapse going on right now with our other Samsung camera. And we're going to do the time lapse on uh, doing um, the wheel. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we officially have a, a rolling chassis. Everything, the back wheel is on tight. Other than the sprocket, I got four bolts coming. Front end, like I said, is done. Um, swing arm is in permanently. Um, shocks in permanently. And the, all the bearings have been switched that we were going to switch. New steering stem bearings, new wheel bearings, new seals. Uh, that's it. Like I said, we're going to run into a little bit of lag time because of that uh, that sleeve. It's going to take a little bit. But we'll try to putter away. We're running out of things to do here without the motor being attached. But um, we're happy with how the bike is coming. Yeah, I can could, I could sit on it. Yeah, the handlebars are we did. where they're supposed to be. We did do a you, want, you want to sit on it? Why don't we do a video of you sitting on it? Go ahead, uh, lower it. I think I need the stick. Oh, no, I got it. Yep. I got the bike. Don't worry about it. There it goes. So. No, it's not going to roll off, bud. Here, hold the camera for a minute. So, here's the bike. We, have, we, uh, we did a little lettering on the back. It didn't turn out as good, but... The good thing is we, we just have to get acetone, dip like a toothpick in there, then just put it around the circles. Um, 
and stuff to make it look smoother. But okay. yeah, and the front the front wheel lighter we are gonna do. There's a step right there, please on. On the other side, you can use that. Don't drop it. There you go. So I don't it's a little sketchy. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. <laughs> All right, I got the bike. Go get the other one. Oh. I could sit on it like this. All right. So, I expected it to sag more, but you see on these old bikes, they had uh, sketchy stuff, like sketchy brakes. Uh, Shock, sketch. Shocks feel good. The shocks feel good because um, we, we bought them rebuilt, but the brakes are a little sketchy, but uh, they still work. So. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. We don't have the sleeve. That would be nice. Cause a week we don't have the tool to put the sleeve in, so we have to give it to machine shop. Machine shop. Okay. Well, we'll cut it right there. The battery's about ready to die. So uh, we will see you on the next part. Have a good weekend.